Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Mason Svengirls video. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the Packers and Bucks for a quick second. It's been a while since I posted a video, and uh, we're going to talk about the Green Bay Packers. Um, <laughs> Joe Barry is a trash can, uh, first of all. Uh, I've been saying that since the Packers hired him. I didn't think it was a great hiring when we hired him, and I don't think that now. And I really, I feel like that has just been validated for me. Uh, even though I've been saying it for a long time. Uh, he is not good. Uh, I, I've said in my past videos, you can go uh, fact check me if you want to, but uh, you, can't, you can't have your defenders playing 10 yards off of your receiver because guess what's going to happen? Yeah, they're going to, of course, catch the ball because your cornerbacks are 10 f yards off of the receiver. <laughs> that, that's, just, that's just common sense to me. Uh, so... <laughs> Joe Barry just never, he, he, he continues to, he, he never fails to disappoint. Uh, and he, he, he disappoints <laughs> on a very consistent basis. So, I, I, I saw on Twitter that Matt, or X, whatever it's called now, Matt LaFleur was asked um, if he would entertain the idea of making a mid-season decision at defensive coordinator to you know relieve Joe Barry of his duties and he said now is not the time for that but I'm sorry Matt LaFleur I, I, I think now is the perfect time for that uh, Matt said he had to you know watch film and evaluate things and coach speak uh, I, I it, do I think they're going to make a change now no probably not it's probably not the best idea to do that it just screws with the chemistry but really at this point could the chemistry get any worse? <laughs> um, so those are my thoughts. I mean, I looked at Jordan Love's final stat line today, and he uh, he had two touchdowns. He threw for over 200 yards, so that's still good. It's just Joe Barry is Joe Barry's trash. He's a trash can defensive coordinator. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry if there's any Joe Barry fans out there, which I would be very surprised if there are any, especially in the state of Wisconsin. But uh, if there are, I'm sorry that you're a fan of Joe Barry, but uh, it's it's just it's it's time for him to leave. It's been time for him to leave for a while now. So now we'll talk about the Bucks. A little more positivity uh, tonight. They just beat the Rockets, and uh, Damian Lillard had 39 points, tying his season high so far uh, in his Milwaukee Bucks uh, debut uh, season for him. Giannis had another great game. He is now the leading round round bounder. <laughs> Leading rebounder in franchise history. So you can just check another category off the list for Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks franchise history. And uh, now the question will come to fruition at some point in the next several years. Who is going to be the greatest Buck, Milwaukee Buck of all time? Is it going to be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or is it going to be Giannis? Um, so that'll be something to debate. You know, they're always debating the lot, the... Lonis, it's a hybrid combination of LeBron and Giannis. No, um, they're always debating LeBron, who's better, LeBron or Kobe, Le or excuse me, LeBron or Michael in the NBA ranks. But uh, you got to start comparing Kareem and Giannis, and you know, asking yourselves who's who's going to be the greatest Milwaukee Buck of all time. And you got to think it's man. If it were to me, I, I, it's got to be Giannis. Just what he's been able to accomplish in his career. The fact that he's only 29 years old and he's got all of these accolades in not only the NBA, but in franchise history, it's got to be Giannis. But we will soon see. And um, that's my kind of roundup of sports for this weekend. Um, and uh, I hope to be posting more videos. I've been kind of slacking uh, the past several months, but I'm hoping to get back on the train. And uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. If you watch this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Helps out the, the algorithm. <laughs> and uh, see you guys in the next one.